I just experienced my first ever Japanese earthquake. Yes, it was terrifying. It was like a really small earthquake, but when you come from a country where you don't get many earthquakes, it is pretty scary. So what else do you do after an earthquake but go down to your local supermarket and buy snacks? So I was actually feeling a little bit sick afterwards um, and someone recommended going out for a walk, getting something sugary, and then I'll feel better. And I came across a new Huggin' Dust ice cream flavor, Lemon Ginger Float. So if you know me at all, you will know that I am slightly obsessed with ginger. I love anything flavored with ginger. I just love ginger so much. So anyway, I thought, Trying one ice cream for you is a little bit boring, so I picked up uh, three other kind of fruity inspired uh, Japanese ice creams since the Hagen Dust one was lemon and ginger. So I went for a bit of a fruity theme. So anyway, it is summer here in Japan, so there are plenty of delicious ice creams out there. So let's give this fruity selection a go. The first one here I've got is a icy pole type ice cream. It is a mandarin flavored. It smells pretty good. Let's give it a go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's quite yummy. It's a bit of a subtle flavor of citrus. So it's got like an icy section around the edge and then in the middle it's got more of like a chewy ice cream. Bit disappointing this one. I would have expected to taste more kind of mandarin-y. It's just a bit kind of subtle and it's a bit of like a fake citrusy taste. So this one was by the brand Akagi. Actually it's Mikan which I thought was actually orange. So maybe it's actually orange flavoured not mandarin flavoured. But it's pretty close anyway. Um, I wouldn't probably have that one again but it was tasty. Okay and the next one I've got here is pretty exciting because it's in the shape of a watermelon slice. How cute is that, guys? Got the green bit at the bottom, um, red bit at the top, and little black um, seed looking things on the inside. Oh, and it smells really, really watermelony. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's a lovely texture as well. It's not like that really icy, hard texture. It's like soft, more sorbet like texture. Really good. Oh, oh, and the seeds are actually little chocolatey bits in there. Oh guys, this one is really good. I'm just going to give the bottom um, a bite just to see if that tastes a little bit different. Oh, it does. The bottom tastes like lemonade. The top bit, the pink bit, tastes like watermelon. And then you've got little chocolate pips in there. So delicious. Really nice texture. Really nice flavor. Plus, it's pretty high on the cute scale. So that's the packaging there of the watermelon one. Look at that little guy, isn't he cute? Okay, the next one I've got here is called Shavy Pear. It doesn't really smell like much. It was pretty cool actually when you open it. Um, rather than being like a solid um, ice cream or like icy pole type thing, it's like shaved ice. I guess that's why it's called Shavy Pear. So this is the Shavy Pear ice cream, so I'll give it a go. Oh! Oh, that is really weird. Okay, the texture is just like shaved ice. The flavour is really like pungent. Not sure if I like it. It doesn't quite taste like pear, I don't think. I'm undecided about this one. So I found that generally the fruity flavours here in Japan um, have been pretty like close to being real. Like they're not too artificially tasty. This one definitely is quite artificial. Okay, I have left the best to last. This is the one that inspired this video. This is Hagen Das Lemon Ginger Float. Oh my god, and the smell, guys, you wouldn't believe it. If you like ginger like me, the smell is just like a freshly brewed pot of ginger tea, like made with fresh ginger. I'll give it a go. Mmm. Oh my god. So the um, white bit is definitely the lemon, and it definitely is more of an ice cream. And then the darker brown bit is the ginger, and it's more like a sorbet. So it is called a lemon ginger float, and a float is normally when you stick kind of ice cream in soda or cool drink, soft drink, whatever you call it, um, and really having the ice cream and the sorbet really gives that feeling of like dropping in the ice cream into like a more fizzy kind of consistency and the sorbet gives that real fizzy kind of taste to it. It's really strong in ginger, so if you don't like ginger it's probably not for you, um, but if you do and you see it around definitely give it a go because it's got a real good kick of ginger and then the smooth kind of lemony flavour, definitely thumbs up on that one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you want to keep in touch with all my Japan adventures and see lots more food videos, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!